Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I organize my freezer. I had a lot of questions during my refrigerator organization video on how I organize it, and to be honest, I never showed it because I've never organized it ever before. I don't know what's taken me so long, but ever since doing it, it is so much better. I don't know why it took me this long to organize it. And this video is also sponsored by New Air. They sent me a refrigerator for my beverages, and I am so glad they did it because this refrigerator is amazing. I also show you how I organize Organize this refrigerator so if you want to see how I do my freezer and a little bit more information on the refrigerator just keep watching first I want to start off by thanking new air for sponsoring this video when they reached out to me asking to review their beverage refrigerator I was so excited because we have actually been already looking for a mini fridge to store our drinks so this opportunity couldn't have come at a better time this is the New Air 160 can beverage refrigerator and I have been loving this refrigerator. It's the perfect size to fit right here in my kitchen. It would look really great in an office or man cave or even the basement. You can fit so much in this refrigerator because of the adjustable shelves. And I also like that you can store cans in here as well as bottled water or even wine bottles because of the split shelf configuration. I love this stainless steel finish. It looks really good in my kitchen with all my other stainless steel appliances. There's also a digital thermostat to adjust the temperature of the fridge to whatever you like. And there's also a built-in LED light so you can see everything inside the refrigerator. So here I'm just showing you the inside of the refrigerator. You can see that the shelves are adjustable and you can move them wherever you want to accommodate whatever drinks you're putting inside. So you'll see me kind of adjust these around later in the video on how I organize it based on what beverages I'm putting inside. I like that the shelves are different size. There's some that are larger and some smaller so you can adjust it in a way that you need to to really maximize the space. Cause everything you'll be is changing me and I so I'm starting off organizing this by using these bins to put cans in. It's totally not necessary, especially with how many shelves that this refrigerator has and how you can customize it to whatever way you want. But I just had these already laying around my house that I use for my regular refrigerator, so I just wanted to test it out and see how I liked it in here. I may keep it or I may not, I don't know, but it works for now. Let me give it up to you. So now I'm putting the drinks in the refrigerator. You see me kind of moving things around and adjusting the shelves based on where I'm putting certain things. I like the bottom part. There's um, a, a lot of area you can put larger bottles like the wine bottles but I actually was able to rearrange the shelving and put the wine bottles in the back and I was able to lay them down which you'll see later and I just really like this that way I didn't have to worry about the bottles clinging together and falling down and possibly breaking. But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Drive a faster car Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke 
Okay, so here is the refrigerator all nice and organized. I was able to put so many cans in this refrigerator, a lot more than what I was expecting because I wasn't doing just cans. I was doing some wine bottles and some water bottles. So I knew I wasn't able to put all 160 cans inside, but I really like the shelves. Like I think that's probably my favorite part is the adjustable shelves. You see that I was putting things in the back of the refrigerator, utilizing and maximizing the space as much as I could. And I really just like having the convenience of a refrigerator specifically for beverages. We use a refrigerator in our garage, which was nice for that reason, but having it right here in the kitchen in a refrigerator that just looks nice and matches the rest of the appliances in my kitchen is just really nice. So if you guys are interested in this new air refrigerator, I'll leave a code for you and you can get $100 off. If any of you guys do decide to use my code and purchase this refrigerator, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so now it's time to tackle this freezer. Now my freezer is a pull-out drawer, and I don't know why, but I've just never taken the time to really organize this thing. I don't know if it's because I just really didn't know how to organize it since it wasn't um, like a taller freezer, like on the other half of my refrigerator. Um, I feel like that's kind of easy to organize. You can just use refrigerator bins like I usually use, but for the freezer, it's different. It's shaped differently and you have to get something that really fits inside. So I guess I just didn't really know what to do. I did a little bit of research on Pinterest and I found some solutions and I'm really excited to share with you what I do. So first thing I did, and which I highly recommend doing, is measuring your refrigerator. That way, whatever bins you decide to use, you'll know that they'll fit. You won't have to go back and forth, going to the store and returning products if things aren't fitting, especially in this day and age. So it really helped that I was measuring the drawer prior to, and then when I did my research online, I was able to find the perfect bins that fit inside perfectly. So these are the bins that I decided to go with. They're from the container store. They're multi-purpose bins. I think there's four or five different sizes. I ended up going with the large and they fit perfectly in my freezer. I also went with these four clear bins from Amazon. I'll leave the link for both of these down below, but I'm really happy with these purchases. I think these bins are absolutely perfect to organize a freezer with. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out So first I started taking everything out of the freezer and you need to work rather quickly for this part just because you don't want the food to start thawing in the process. So as I was emptying the freezer, I started to put the food items in each of the container bins and I thought about this prior to this process on where I wanted to put things. So I decided to do a bin for frozen fruit, a bin for frozen vegetables, a bin for potatoes and french fries, and a bin for meat. Inside doesn't show, but my nerves are inside out. It's because you're not worth less than perfection. Ooh, thought it was in my hands. Now I'm all confused, turning gold into sand. Don't know what you do to me. All I know is you can take my breath away. Yeah, that's when you touch my hand. It all goes away. Trying to do is say I love you ooh, ooh, ooh. 
So as I was organizing, I obviously realized that these boxes were way too big to fit into these bins and we had a ton of boxes and I was thinking that I might have to cut out the instructions on the back so I remembered how to cook each of the food items and just store that little piece of cardboard somewhere in my freezer just in a drawer in my kitchen. But as I was doing this, I realized that these food items are actually from Aldi and on the bags itself, it's a reclosable bag, which I didn't even realize, and they have the instructions on how to cook the chicken nuggets on there, which I was really surprised about. I've never noticed that before. So if you decide to do something like this, just take a look at the bag before you throw the box out to make sure the instructions are on the bag. And if they're not, I would just cut out the part on the box where the instructions are and just keep them somewhere in your kitchen so you can refer back to it if you need to. So we're just about done, but before I put the bins inside, I really needed to clean out this freezer. It was really disgusting. There was a bunch of crumbs, and it's kind of hard to clean out the crumbs because of the way the drawer is, so I just grabbed the vacuum to pick up all the little pieces, and then I just wiped everything down with the counter spray. Okay, and here is the final product. I am so happy the way this turned out. It's so satisfying seeing a clean, organized freezer. Everything is in its place. You can see exactly where everything goes. I can see exactly how much we need of something. If I need to go to the grocery store, what we're out of. It's so much better than what it was before, and I still can't believe it took me this long to really take the time to organize it. On this top shelf, I felt that I could put some snacks and treats up here. They're kind of awkward shape to put somewhere down below in one of those bins, so I thought this shelf right here was the perfect solution for that. And then like I said earlier, these bins I organized based on what I wanted to put inside of them. So to the far left, I have frozen fruit. Next to that's frozen vegetables. And then I have potato products and then meat products in the last bin. You can see that these bins don't fit perfectly. I still have quite a bit of space 
um, you know, here in the top part or even behind, I could try to find a more narrow type of bin to put in one of those locations and I could put something else back there. I can leave it completely blank like I do now. I still have some options I could do if I buy, you know, frozen bread or anything for spaghetti, I can always just fit those right in that space, which is nice. It's nice to have a little bit of extra space, but these bins still fit really, really nicely. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I listened to your guys' recommendations and I did it. I'm so happy that I organized my freezer. If you guys have any other suggestions that you would like to see me organize, please leave a comment down below. Also, if you want to purchase one of the new air refrigerators, don't forget to leave a comment down below and use my coupon code to get $100 off. Thanks guys, see you next time. This is not